And on out of the earth, the fabric huge rose like an exhalation, with the sound of dulcet symphonies and voices sweet. Built like a temple where pilasters round were set, and Doric pillars overlaid with golden architrave, nor did there want cornice or frieze, with bossy sculptures graven, the roof was fretted gold. This is Pandemonium by English painter John Martin. Its imposing presence haunts the Louvre, alight with the fire and brimstone of hell. Pandemonium is the name of hell's capital, coined by fellow Englishman John Milton in his 17th century masterpiece, Paradise Lost. In the book, a host of angels who have rebelled against God are cast into hell, and their leader Satan gives a rousing speech, telling them not to despair. After all, better to rule in hell than to serve in heaven. The demon Mammon, who loves the riches found in the earth, helps raise a great temple to serve as their seat of power. John Martin was very familiar with Paradise Lost having created a beautiful set of mezzotint engravings to illustrate an edition of the epic poem. Those works were completed about 15 years before this painting. Martin was born in 1789, rising to the very top of English painting in his time. People loved his sense of drama and enormous scale. In his paintings, everything is as big and bold as possible. This made his work so popular with the public that security measures had to be taken to protect his paintings whenever they were hung. Of course, receiving so much mass popularity coincided with critical denouncement by fellow artists. However, he would be a major inspiration for the Pre-Raphaelites. And he can easily be placed in a chain of English literary and artistic figures who became obsessed with the sublime. From Milton to Martin, from Martin to Blake, that strain of mystical transcendence and awe and the magnitude of creation has given us so many cultural gifts. The mass appeal of enormous and fantastical visions should feel quite familiar to today's audience. After all, we live in a pop culture that has its roots firmly planted in the soil that Martin helped to create. Comic books and their film adaptations have completely taken over our cineplexes and streaming services. But in Martin, we find this blockbuster aesthetic combined with a spiritual sensibility. One that makes his images rise above spectacle and into that grand realm of true masterpieces, visionary art. To learn more about arts and culture in Paris, like and subscribe. Until next time. Au revoir.